the main station building is the wintering base where members stay the entire year including the 8 months of winter where temperatures go below minus 30 degrees celsius and wind speeds approach 100 knots during blizzards the peak activity at the station including scientific research occurs in the summer months from november to the end of february at that time the number of members living at the base approaches 80 maybe 90 for all the members we need comfortable accommodation and for them we have the summer camp i am santosh kumar First, uh, fifth expedition, first expedition is 24th ACA, again 34th, 36th, and 38th, and 41. This is our summer camp. This is our summer camp. This is our summer camp. Our first camp is 90 members. So, 90 to 100 maximum. सभी कंटेनर में चार आदमी का कंडेशन है, एक बंक चार पाइस से, तो एक नीचे एक ऊपर, सेम एक नीचे एक ऊपर, बाकी जो कंडेशन आपको दिख रहा है, यही है जो इस कंडेनर है हमारे पास बारह कंडेनर से, इसके बाद कंडेनर का एडिशन हमारे पास आठ से, उसमें भी कंडेशन है। ये क्या हट से अन्ना? ये अन्नपूर्णा है। Actually, when the station was built, at that time, the summer camp was built in the summer camp. And the summer camp people didn't eat food there, so they ate food there. Okay, that's why it's Annapurna? Annapurna. Okay. So, if you have a couple of accommodations in the kitchen, and presently, we don't use it in the kitchen, then there are the same couple of accommodations down below. So, this is Nanda Devi. नंदादेव में नॉर्मली इसमें नीचे का जगह पे आईएजी और आईएमडी का इंस्ट्रूमेंट लगा हुआ है ऊपर बारह लोगों का अकाउंटेशन है ये तीरमला हट है ये नॉर्मली ये इसके अंदर एनसीआरआई का इंस्ट्रूमेंट लगा हुआ है इसके अंदर भी बारह लोगों का अकाउंटेशन है नीचे अभी एनरोलमेंट का भी इंस्ट्रूमेंट � मैत्र बनने का पहले बना हुआ है ये पहले मैत ये बना था इस क्योंकि इसी को बेच करके फिर मैत्र का कंसेशन शुरू किया है ये एक एंड दौड़ा बैठा ये दौड़ा बैठा है ये नॉर्मली जो समर के हम में क्या समर में जो लोग आता है उसी का रिफ्रेशमेंट के लिए जो चाय या पानी है जिसका थोड़ा बहुत स्नैक्स वगैरह उसमें रखा है, कुछ एंटरटेनमेंट का आइटम रखा है, टीवी रखा है। तभी प्रसन्नले समर स्टार्ट नहीं हुआ, तो इस कावजात से कई जगह पे बर स्नो इंसेट हुआ है, तो इसलिए वो अभी जब समर स्टार्ट होने का पहले और स्नो क्लियर कर लेंगे, क्लियर करने के बाद हम समर के लिए तैयार करेंगे इसको। Personally, we use the accommodation for the accommodation. It was actually on the shelf. So, it was used as an IAG instrument, the DFM. After that, it was closed for about 20 years. We removed the solar panel on the top. We converted the accommodation to the accommodation. We converted the accommodation to the accommodation. This is the toilet installation. It is called the Maharaja Maharaja Maharaja. जो स्टार्टिंग में यही हमारा सुविधा था पहले इसी में बैठने का और बर्निंग करने का डायरेक्ट एटीएफ से बर्न करता था तो अगेन 29 के बाद ये बदली हो गया तब भी हमारा पूरा पूरा फुलफिल नहीं होता है तो एक आधा अगर ज़्यादा स्टंट आएगा तो इसको अभी भी यूज़ करता है एक आधा को सो इसमें फ्लैश सिस्टम नहीं है 
फ्लश सिस्टम नहीं है ये बर्निंग सिस्टम है ये ड्राई टाइप का टॉयलेट है दे सकता है जो विंटर पीरियड खत्म हो गया देखा गया समर आ गया समर आ गया तो वो तब स्नो आया हुआ है स्नो बैठा वो अब समर आने का पूरा क्लीन करेंगे इस सीट के ऊपर न्यूज पेपर भी चेक इसके ऊपर बैठता है और जैसे आदमी बाहर आता है तो न्यूज पेपर के साथ अंदर जाता है फिर बर्निंग इस साइड से होता है उधर से जो एश निकलता है पर्सनली हमारे पास अभी तीन मॉडल बचा हुआ है तो पहले करीब दस बारह साल का पहले कम से कम हमारे पास कम बीस बीस मॉड्यूल थे तो ये तीन बचा हुआ अभी ये हमारा टॉयलेट इंसुरल थे अभी हम फिलहाल हम इसके अंदर चार और इसके अंदर के अंदर हम मतलब आठ आठ टॉयलेट है इसके अंदर इंसुरल थे सेम सिस्टम बर्निंग वाला यस बर्निंग वाला ओके सो मैत्री में कहीं भी फ्लश सिस्टम नहीं है मैत्री में कहीं भी फ्लश सिस्टम नहीं है सब ये ड्राई टाइप का इंसुरल है ये ड्राई टाइप इंसुरल है अब इसको यूज करने के बाद ये पेडल मारने तो शीत अंदर चला जाता है इसके बाद ये बर्निंग बर्निंग करने का प्रोसेस है और यूरिन सफेद उस यूरिन रिपोर्ट में डालना है ओके मतलब वो अंदर नहीं जाना चाहिए अंदर नहीं जाना चाहिए बर्निंग सिर्फ शीत बर्न होगा पर यूरिन वेट टाइप नहीं है ये ड्राई टाइप है ये लेडीज बाथरूम में जेंट्स बाथरूम में तीन बाथरूम में नॉर्मल उतना ही उतना का ही जरूरत है ये कवर कंटेनर पर हम यूज नहीं कर रहा है इसके अंदर भी आपको हमेशा गर्म पानी मिलेगा तो गर्म पानी के लिए इधर अंदर टैंक लगा हुआ है इसके अंदर हीटर है और स्टोरेज के लिए इसका ऊपर टैंक लगा हुआ है ये जो टंग आपको दिखाई दे रहा है ये उसी के लिए ये कप्तान में एक बार इसको फिल किया जाता है ये पांच हजार लीटर का है उसका पंपिंग भी प्रियदर्शनी लेक से ही होता है उसका पंपिंग भी पहले स्टेशन में पंप करता है फिर स्टेशन से पंप इधर करता है तो ये लेडीज के लिए यूरिन सेपरेट बनाया हुआ तो बाकी ये बाकी पार्ट यूज नहीं करता है Antarctica does not have phone lines for obvious reasons uh, but we do need a good communication network as we have teams going out on the field throughout the year right from the sea shelf barrier in the north at 69 degrees south to well the south pole uh, which we visited in the 29th expedition our communication officer will tell us more about it I am Shamsundar PM, 38 year old. I am from Kannur, Kerala. Uh, first expedition in Antarctica. Uh, I am communication in charge and IT in charge. Um, communication is most important here uh, because uh, uh, the field works party and uh, convoy team when going outside we have to communicate uh, regular. Uh, then we are using VHF set. Uh, this is the VHF set. Uh, very high frequency. Uh, this is the XF set. High frequency. Okay. We are mostly using by communicate with uh, heli and wise team. Okay. Then we have facility only satellite phone uh, network. Okay. Uh, we are very low speed. Maximum 30 kb speed. Okay. Then. Um, uh, I am sending data, uh, scientific data uh, regularly and uh, incoming and outgoing uh, mail. Okay, then this is PA, public announcement. We are announcing from here, internet. And uh, when there is no uh, VHF facility communication, then using satellite um, 
mobile okay then uh, we have two uh, satellite handset this is Anmar set this is iridium set uh, then I am uh, looking uh, the old PC maintenance okay then that's all Even though majority of the scientific activity occurs in the summer, we do have a year-round presence of some scientists, especially the meteorologists and the geomagnetists. We also have a lab technician who takes care of all the scientific instruments. He also keeps a track of all the parameters and the readings of the various scientific instruments. Let's meet them. मेरा नाम शंतनु वाईकर है मैं पुणे महाराष्ट्र से हूँ आई एम डी के मैं मैं मीटरोलॉजिस्ट करके काम करता हूँ और ये मेरा फर्स्ट अंटार्कटिका एक्सपीडिशन है मैं यहाँ को आप यहाँ आपको हमारा एच डब्ल्यू एस आर लॉगर और उससे हमारा कैसा रिकॉर्डिंग होता है वो आपको बताता हूँ यह हमारा है हाई विंड स्पीड रिकॉर्डर डेटा लॉगर इससे हम हवा की स्पीड हवा की दिशा प्रेशर टेम्परेचर आदि महत्वपूर्ण बाबें या इससे नापी जाती है इसके जो भी इंस्ट्रूमेंट्स है वो हमारे स्टेशन के ऊपर और स्टेशन के नीचे बाजू हमने सेट किए हैं उससे वायर थ्रू यहाँ पे डेटा हम लेते हैं और ये लॉगर के फिर हम ये कंप्यूटर में सबके लिए डिस्प्ले करते हैं यहाँ पर यहाँ पर आपको विन डायरेक्शन विंड स्पीड टेम्परेचर ह्यूमिडिटी और प्रेशर यह हमें एक सेकेंड का भी डेटा मिलता है और एक मिनट का भी डेटा हम इससे देख सकते हैं ये ट्वेंटी फोर आवर्स रिकॉर्डिंग अपने आप होता है फिर वहाँ से हम हर तीन घंटे में उसको ऑब्जर्वेशन लेते हैं जैसा यू टी सी टाइम के अनुसार यानी छः बजे नौ बजे बारह बजे तीन बजे ऐसा राउंड ऑफ क्लॉक हमारा ऑब्जर्वेशन चलता रहता है फिर वो ऑब्जर्वेशन हम हमारे एम एम आर में यानि मेट्रोलॉजिकल रजिस्टर से फॉर अंटार्कटिका इसमें हम रिकॉर्ड करते हैं ऐसे हमारे हर महीने का रिकॉर्ड इसमें भी होता है फिर सॉफ्ट कॉपी हम हमारे कंप्यूटर में एंट्री करते हैं डेटा फोर्टी वन आई के अंदर वो सॉफ्ट कॉपी हर रोज उसका हम सिनॉप बनाते हैं और डेली वेदर फोरकास्ट जो है हम हमारे दिल्ली ऑफिस को भेज देते हैं और यहाँ पर भी हम डिस्प्ले करते हैं सभी के लिए ये हमारा ओजन मेजरमेंट का इंस्ट्रूमेंट है जिसे हम ओजन लॉगर कहते हैं इसमें हमारा पोटेशियम आयोड्राइड का सॉल्यूशन हम बनाकर कर एक लीटर का सॉल्यूशन बनाते हैं और इसमें हम डालते हैं जिससे हमारा रिकॉर्डर कंटिन्यूस यहाँ पे घूमता रहता है यह है रिकॉर्डर हमारा और उसका जो हमारा रिकॉर्ड आता है जो पार्ट्स पर बिलियन जो ये रहता है उसका मी रीडिंग वो हमारा इसमें आता है जिसका हम डेली डेटा निकाल सकते हैं और चाहे तो पंद्रह दिन में भी हम उसका बैकअप ले सकते हैं हम उसका पंद्रह दिन या एक महीने में रीडिंग लेते हैं पिन ड्राइव पे हमारे यहाँ पे स्टोर करते हैं फिर हम वो डेटा जाते वक्त एक्सपीडिशन ख़त्म होने के बाद दिल्ली लेके जाते हैं फिर उसका वहाँ पे एनालिसिस किया जाता है और फिर उसका रिजल्ट आता है कि ओजोन लेयर कम हुआ घटा अच्छा रहा ये जो भी है वहाँ पर डिसाइड किया जाता है ये रूम में इतना अंदर क्यों है ये रूम में इतना अंधेरा रखने की एक वजह है कि ये जो पोटेशियम आइड्रोड सॉल्यूशन है ये अगर उजाले को भी एक्सपोज हो जाएगा तो फिर उसका रीडिंग सही तरीके से नहीं देता है इसलिए हमने ये पूरे इंस्ट्रूमेंट और ये रूम अंधेरे में हमने रखना ही पड़ता है और उसका टेम्परेचर भी हमें बीस बाईस डिग्री तक मेनटेन करना पड़ता है ज़्यादा ठंड हुई तो फिर रीडिंग नहीं आता है ज्यादा होती है इसका रिकॉर्डिंग हमें इस इंस्ट्रूमेंट में मिलता है वो पार्ट पर बिलियन ये यूनिट में मिलता है जिसे हम ये लैपटॉप में लेते हैं और इसका डेटा हम 
हमारे एक्सपीडेशन के एंड में साथ में लेके जाते हैं और फिर वहाँ उसका एनालाइज किया जाता है कि उसका आउटपुट क्या हुआ है अल्ट्रावाज रेस कैसे थे ज़्यादा हार्मफुल थे या अच्छे थे I am Rebertis Pariyong. I am from Shillong, Meghalaya, and I represent India Meteorological Department. This is a system called Digital Current Weather Instrument System. It gives continuous recording of uh, meteorological parameters such as temperature, pressure, wind speed, wind direction, humidity. The sensors are kept outside of the station and it is transmitted in the central server here by a modem this is modem and this is a display system this is also a display system we are keeping here in leaders room and in lawns for the benefit of other members it keeps uh, information of current temperature maximum minimum temperature wind speed direction and humidity and this is also another system where we use to keep daily forecast for my three station And there is another system, this is called uh, Sutron Datalogar. This, uh, it gives recording for solar radiation. The sensors for this instrument also we are keeping outside. And it is recorded in this logar. It gives recording for global and diffuse radiation. Thank you. Now we are going to one location called Girnar Hut, where some of the meteorological instruments were placed. This is the location where temperature, wind, humidity and pressure sensors were placed. We can see this uh, small tower on the higher portion. We can see wind sensor and in the lower portion temperature humidity sensor. And inside this hut we are keeping pressure sensor and some data logger and modem. And this data gets transmitted to the station? Yes, uh, data are being recorded continuously from here and it, it is transmitted continuously to the central server in the station via a metam. This is a data logger, this is a pressure sen sensor and this is a modem. All the uh, data are being transmitted continuously to the uh, station via the modem. The recording is a continuous recording for 24 hours. Despite of the automatic meteorological instruments, we have got also here in Antarctica some manual instruments. I will show you some. This is a sensor called pyranometer. This one, it records uh, solar radiation. This ring has been kept for recording diffuse radiation and this instrument records global and diffuse radiation. Next is this snow gauge. Uh, whenever there is snow, we are collected in this cylinder and then we melt the snow and measure in the, in the measuring glass how much snow collected during the day and we have this small tower here this is a wind vane which moves and it indicates the wind direction from where it blows and that one is cup anemometer where we get the wind speed Screen throughout the world where we are having here maximum and minimum 
temperature so here we can directly how much maximum temperature and how much minimum temperature Namaste My name is Ramana Murthy I am from Baderu Allur Istarama district Andhra Pradesh I am <clears throat> had my highs 34 years. It is the first expedition in Antarctica. Uh, I am from Indian Institute of Geomagnetism, represented by Indian Institute of Geomagnetism. And Indian Institute of Geomagnetism, it is participated in Indian scientific expedition to Antarctica and playing a key role studying about geomagnetic environment of place in these places and it has been conducting various instruments towards the geomagnetism, atmosphere and upper atmosphere studies. Just I want to show the data later, after that I will show the census. What is the instrument and what is the data showing in this lab, just I want to show here. First of all, this is the digital flux gate magnetometer data. The digital flux gate magnetometer to use measured at the magnetic field 3 direction component HDZ. This instrument sensitivity 0 0.5 to 1 nano tesla. This is the sampling interval 1 second data. Second magnetic instrument proton precision magnetometer. It is the PM proton magnetometer also. This is the main use to study about the hertz field nuclear magnetic resonance. The mainly the it is used to the height of total magnetic field and the sensor used to the high rich fluid, uh, kerosene, hepton and water also we can use it. And second magnetic instrument ICM induction coil magnetometer. This magnetic sensors kept buried inside the soil away from the magnetic noise. This data used to study about skumen resonance and ultra low frequency in magnet. And this data, <coughs> this is the frequency band 0 0.01 hertz to 30 hertz. The frequency range is 30 hertz, uh, 64 to and 256 hertz. Second one is, is the GEC, Global Electric Circuit. The global electric circuit data used to the mainly used to study about the donor and chasal variations and the disturbance of the interplanetary and the magnetosphere disturbance and the lower atmosphere and atmosphere and atmospheric electric field changes. It is mainly used to study about and the local disturbance also be you can use. This GEC sensors kept the two different locations. One location near the Nandadev area, second location near to Comet, and I will show the data near to Comet also. Another instrument, this is the new instrument, Knox. Laterly, I have installed here. The Knox is the chemical compound of nitrogen and oxygen. It is highly temperature to, it is formed to the Knox, and this is the working principle, is the chemiluminous concept. What I explained inside the Nanda Devi log, number of the sensors required by high here. They have uh, atmosphere electric monitor mill, second one is the Maxwell current, long wire antenna, near brothers in like we have long wire antenna, this is the GEC parameters, second one is the digital flux gate magnetometer sensor there, this is the proton precious magnetometer sensor, and they have the three magnetic coils, induction coil magnetometers, required near the so this is the one of the uh, magnetometer, declination inclination magnetometer. It is measuring the height inclination and declination in certain location. This instrument data regularly absolute measurement regularly carried out to find the baselines by using the digital flux gate magnetometer and proton proton precious magnetometer data. And in this room, <coughs> the health. One sensor that is the single x flux gate magnetometer sensor. This sensor used to the magnetic field direction. They have one theodolite that is used to measuring the uh, height uh, rotation, the uh, sensor rotation, inclination, and horizontal field.
cosmic radio noise observed on ionosphere D layer that is the uh, uh, range 50 to 90 kilometers and this is the frequency range 50 uh, high frequency to very high frequency recorded uh, this systems uh, dipole hand array systems and they have some of the narrow beams that uh, compresses the beams it is called the butler mat systems and under the array chicken mat that mat is protected the evaporated the signal from surface okay can i see the data lying inside the hut and outside the uh, imaging diameter sensors have so and now this is the receiver the data coming from uh, outside to here this is the uh, imaging diameter histograms they have the beams uh, narrow beams that beams the average is the green light one is the hand signal second one is the ground level signals so this is the, regularly we are uh, taking that screenshot for working purpose agar instrument sahi chal rahe nahi chal rahe ye dekhne ke liye hum histogram se check karte rahe this systems by using we are matlabs and linux softwares uh, matlab using for that data downloading purpose and linux software completely we are using the linux software this is one of the lab in hiaz monitoring this is the comet lab just i want to show that data so first of all this is one of the instrument air earth currents uh, this all the instrument air earth current uh, sensor uh, sensors kept outside the comet this is the data so this is the instrument air encounters and one of the data it is the data coming from this pc air ion counts and this is the vlf data very low frequency the very low frequency it is mainly used to study about the thunderstorm storm and uh, this data this signal used to submarine signal also this is very low frequency means 2 to 3 decibels per 1000 kilometers and this is the plate enter one of the instrument and ELF, <coughs> Atmospheric Electric Field, it both the has sensor, this is the AEC, Atmospheric Electric Field, we can call it, uh, measuring, and one of the instrument here installed, Japan, this is the All Sky Camera, in this camera, uh, four cameras kept uh, top of the comet art, uh, when during the uh, Aurora systems, that capture that images, thank you. I have given me additional duty of uh, lab technician also uh, this is sun photometer uh, sun photometer measures uh, columnar ozone water vapor and uh, aerosol optical duct uh, it takes measurement of solar radiation intensity of five different uh, wavelengths centered around 300 to 1020 nanometer I will take you inside to show the NCRI lab. NCRI stands for National Geophysical Research Institute. Come inside. Uh, this is GNSS uh, Global National Satellite System. Uh, it's a worldwide satellite system. Uh, this instrument installed by NGRI Hyderabad. Yeah, GNSS uh, allows small electronic resource receivers to uh, determine the location, uh, latitude, longitude, and height uh, to within a few meters using the signals as transmitted by the GNSS satellites. Uh, this is broadband seismograph. Uh, it has been used as a possible monitoring uh, tool for earthquake predictions. Earth's uh, crust consists of several plates of solid rocks that slowly move and interact along seams to called uh, plate boundaries. Uh, BBC, uh, BBS uses the interactions for measuring uh, earthquakes. Uh, the CNG 3D is a uh, three 
uh, axis seismometer consisting of three sensors in a sealed case which can measure the north, south, east, west and vertical components of crowd motion. Uh, these are other instruments, uh, also poral environment lab. Atmosphere Science Lab. Uh, let us start. The first instrument, uh, aerodynamic particle sizer, uh, is model number 7321. Spectrometer provides high resolution, real time aerodynamic measurements of particles from 0.5 to 20 micrometer. The result is greater small particle sizing efficiency, uh, improved accuracy of uh, mass weighted distributions, and uh, virtual elimination of false background counts. Now, next, uh, this is instrument atherometer. Atherometer model A double C collects aerosol particles continuously by drawing the aerosol laden air stream through a spot on the filter tape. It also analyzes the aerosol by measuring uh, the transmission of light through uh, one portion of the filter tape containing the sample. Next. Uh, this is net radiometer. Net radiometer. The main application for net radiometers are used to study of uh, evaporation and uh, climatology, meteorology, and hydrology uh, for the measurement of the radiation um, balance. Uh, it is monitoring over glaciers and ice fields of particles, and uh, then interest to global warming studies. Next instrument is nephrometer. Nephrometer or arrow photometer is an instrument for measuring the concentration of suspended particles in a liquid or gas colloid. The main use of nep uh, nephrometer related to air quality measurement for pollution monitoring, climate monitoring, and visibility. That's all. Next instrument, OTT. OTT hydrology. Uh, the instrument we are using, my three is a real-time weather monitor, give us temperature and snowfall using laser light optical uh, technology on the software console about uh, the real-time or we can say present weather in respect uh, of snowfall daily. Next, we can go next other room. Uh, this is on sky camera. Uh, it's a specialized camera used to meteorology and astro astronomy for capturing a photograph of the ender sky. All sky camera typically a fish eye lens uh, that takes an extremely uh, wide hemispheric image. Uh, the camera is outside on the lab. Next, this is AWS. An automatic weather station is an automatic version of traditional weather station. The main parameter we measure are using uh, temperature, humidity, pressure, wind speed, direction. Uh, the other instrument is GPS, is out of the lab. The instrument is also here. Okay, we can the, the pump top. Next, uh, we can collect from the data from this system. Okay, it has been studying of crustal uh, disformation. The GPS is a space-based radio navigation system consisting of a constellation of 24 satellites uh, orbiting the Earth uh, with a 12 hours period. GPS is providing users with uh, accurate information on position, velocity, and uh, time uh, anywhere in the world and uh, in all weather conditions. Now, let us go outside.
camera, uh, right side and left side with the uh, LWS, uh, GPS, GPS. I will take you to MARA lab. Uh, MARA stands for Movable Atmosphere Radar for Antarctica. Uh, can you see the blue igloo? Uh, that is MARA lab. Come. Uh, this is MARA igloo. Uh, it stands for uh, Movable Atmosphere Radar for Antarctica. Uh, this antenna is continuous monitoring of full height of profiles of turbulence, waves, veins and static stability at Maitri station. This is to use to identify stable layers, turbulence layers and proper pause faults which can be instrument to test modeling of the virtual transfer and mixing process contributing to exchange of constituents between the stratosphere and the land ice surface and between the sea surface and high level land ice.